Hello and welcome to Phuket Pulse JED Express Screencast with me, Teacher Marky. Today's lesson focuses on mitosis. On the previous discussion, discussion you have learned about cell division and cell cycle. And on the cell cycle, after interface, we have their mitosis. So at the end of the discussion, every one of you is expected to enumerate, describe, and explain the different stages of mitosis. So we start with the definition of mitosis. So based on the, what was discussed last time, mitosis is being preceded after the interface stage on the cell cycle. Now for mitosis, that would be the division of the nucleus of the cell and this is also known as karyokinesis. And this is this is done by eukaryotic cells and it has four stages which I'm going to enumerate later on. Now, for example, we have here this photo. So that picture illustrates the four stages of mitosis. So the first picture to your left, upper left, is prophase and then the other one is metaphase. The one at uh, the bottom left corner would be anaphase and then the last photo at your bottom right would be telophase. Now we begin with the first stage of mitosis. But we have here the four mitotic stages as mentioned. We have prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So that's the one on the photo. Now, let's have the first stage that is prophase. For the prophase stage, it is divided into two stages. So we have the early prophase. Um, during the early prophase stage, the chromatin in nucleus condenses to form visible chromosomes. So the chromatin is the protein which makes up a chromosome. So a mitotic spindle forms from fibers inside the skeleton on plant cells or centrioles on animal cells. Now we have here this example that would be the mitotic spindle fiber which is being formed during the early prophase stage. Now we have there the chromosomes which is being produced and the nucleus. So we have late prophase. For the late prophase, the nuclear membrane and nucleus are broken down and the chromosomes continue condensing and are clearly visible. During this time, the spindle finishes forming between the poles of the cell and after the that specific scenario we have here this photo wherein the nucleus and the nucleus have disintegrated and you can see in there the chromosomes so here's the sketch of the spindle fiber so the spindle fiber is like the line that you can see in here that is the spindle fiber and we have here the centrioles those those boxes that is the centrioles and the one in the center would be the chromosomes and after the prophase stage we have metaphase for metaphase chromosomes attach to the kinetochore fiber and moves to the center of the cell when we say kinetochore fibers, that is also known as spindle fibers. The one that you can see on the drawing, like the line, which is color red. Now next, chromosomes are now lined up at the equator. So during the metaphase stage, the chromosomes are aligned on the center. Okay, and... Uh, after that, we have here 
an illustration of the metaphase stage. As you can see in here, it is very evident that the chromosomes are aligned on the center. And you see in there like this part, those are spindle fibers. Next. We have anaphase. After metaphase, we have anaphase stage. This stage occurs rapidly and during this time, the sister chromatids are pulled apart to opposite poles of the cell by kinetic core fiber. So during this time, the chromosomes are separated from each other. Unlike with the metaphase stage, the chromosomes are aligned at the equator. During the anaphase stage, the chromosomes are moving far from each other, going to their separate poles. Now, we have here an illustration of an anaphase stage. As you can see in here, the chromosomes were separated from each other, going on this side and going on that side. Next. We have the last stage, which is telophase. During the telophase stage, the sister chromatids at opposite folds are in top already, and then the spindle disassembles. The nuclear envelope forms around each set of sister chromatids, and then the nucleus reappears. And then during this time, cytokinesis occurs. This is like the post stage after telophase and then chromosomes reappear as shown as chromatin so from from the chromosome it will turn into a chromatin and then i'll discuss the post stage right after telophase we have cytokinesis cytokinesis means division of the cytoplasm so during this time the division of cell is into two identical halves called daughter cells so you should not forget that during mitosis the cell which will be produced are identical halves or known as daughter cells and in plant cells cell plate forms at the equator to divide the cell and in animal cell it's the cleavage furrow which forms which forms to split the cell. I have here an illustration to make it clearer. As you can see in there, we have here the cleavage furrow in animal cells. This is the one which causes the division of the cells into two during the cytokinesis stage. And on the other hand, we have the cell plate in animal cell, like a lining that you can see in there. That is the one which divides the cell into halves during cytokinesis stage. So, we have here the daughter cells of mitosis. You should always know that they have the same number of chromosomes as each other and as the parent cell from which they were formed. And they are totally identical to each other, but they are smaller in size compared to the parent cell and they must grow in size to become mature cells during the primary growth under interface on the cell cycle now since you already have an understanding on the different stages of mitosis let's try this example now can you name the mitotic stages from the following picture this photo and then this photo and then this photo and then this photo and then this photo so you have here this one and then it aligned at the center it separates and moves far to their opposite poles and then the chromosomes condenses to form two cells so let's try so the first photo is the interface stage as what was mentioned before on the last green cast, this is where the primary growth synthesis and secondary growth is taking place. After the interface, we have the prophase. The prophase, and then after that, we have metaphase, wherein the chromosomes are aligned at the equator. 
And then next we have the anaphase. The chromosomes are separated from each of their sister chromatids. And then after that we have telophase, wherein there is a cleavage furrow that is being produced so that these cells will be separated from each other. Now, can you name this? Can you name this specific thing in here? That would be the equator. And this one is the cleavage furrow. All right. Now, let's try another one. So, I have here my process animation. Name each stage as you see it occur. So, just look at the animation and then try to name the stage as you see it occurs. You can play it several times. It's up to you. Great job, everyone. Congratulations. You've made it so far. Now, this would be the second to the last part of our discussion for cell cycle. Don't miss the next screencast. And that will be all for today. But before that, I have here the lesson summary, which will help you understand the discussion more. So you have here this illustration. You have here drop to of interface and you have pro phase you have pro meta phase and you have the meta phase stage the anaphase and the telophase with cytokinesis so the drawing is a concrete example of what is taking place during those stages on the cell cycle specifically on the mitosis mitosis stage now, for the references, we still have Reading Essentials for Biology, Glanco 2017, and Glanco Biology, Mark Hill Education. Now, if you want to read in advance, you can make use of these references and check it online. Now, that will be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Since you are already here, you might as well subscribe to our YouTube channel down below. And if you find this video interesting and helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends. You can connect with us by visiting www.pocketpulse.org or go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash pocketpulse. Or if you have questions regarding our organization, you can contact us directly through LINE. Or call us at 081-417-0978. Thank you so much and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye everyone.